everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about summer essentials now i know we're quite into summer by this point but if you're thinking about a piece that you want to add to your wardrobe but you don't really know if you're going to get the wear out of it years to come whether you're going to still love it in a year's time um this video will hopefully be of use to you because i want to show you guys items that i personally love to wear every summer items that I know I'm going to get wear out of items that I know are kind of a trend every year or I know that come round every single year. So I know that I will get wear out of this stuff next year. I know we haven't had the summer that we kind of wanted um, because of coronavirus, even though a lot of people are going on holiday now. So maybe we are. But um, if you're looking for some pieces that you want to add to your wardrobe, you want to feel like you're on holiday, you want that vibe, but you know you're not going anywhere then hopefully some of these items will be worth buying into if you are wanting to add more to your wardrobe that you can still wear next year because let's face it none of us really want to buy into things that we aren't going to get the wear out of next year and we're trying to be a bit more careful with where we spend our money so yeah without further ado let me get into the essentials first up we're going to start with this lovely little hat now uh, every summer every single high street shop sells some sort of straw hat. Um, straw hats are something that I've never really been super into, but I think they're a really classic summer wardrobe piece. Um, whether you're using it for style purposes or actual practical purposes, they are perfect. This one's from ASOS. It's just a very classic little straw hat. I bought this because I thought it would look really nice with like cute dresses. Um, I love a cute dress in the summer, so I just thought this would be really nice. Again, keeps the sun off your face and also protects your scalp. Um, scalp is something that burns quite easily, so it's good to protect your skin. Um, I'm very much about protecting your skin, especially in the sun. I don't really go out in the sun without putting sun cream on because I burn and I don't really want to burn. A straw hat is perfect because you can wear it in your garden, you can wear it to the park, you can wear it on holiday, you can wear it pretty much wherever. Um, it's a good piece to have, um, especially if you are going to be sitting in the garden all summer. Nice to protect your, your head, protect your face, keep the sun out of your eyes, but still look cute. Um, and like I said, you can wear them on holiday. So if you are thinking about buying into it, but you're like, oh, will I get the use out of it? Think about maybe the future holidays you have coming up. Maybe you're not going on holiday this year, but you might be going on holiday next year. It's something you can wear then. So you can't beat a straw hat. Next, we're gonna talk about white dresses. Now, white dresses in the summer are my absolute weakness. I love them. I don't actually have that many here with me because I tried to get into a bit more color this year um, because I don't really wear a lot of color, as you may know if you've been following me for a while. Um, but white dresses are a really classic piece to have in your wardrobe because white is always a summer color. There is not a year I've seen where some white dresses are not a thing and I think if you find a white dress that you just love and it's perfect for you then buy it because there's no need to feel like you won't get the wear out of it maybe if you're a little bit unsure whether maybe it won't fit you next year or maybe you're a little bit unsure whether you'll feel comfortable in it next year think about the fit and how the fit is on your body um maybe think about what your kind of future goals are in terms of what you'd like to wear next year it sounds a bit weird because it's hard to think about that far ahead um but here are two dresses that i love and um, this one's a smock style dress really kind of big and flowy which is great if you're someone who doesn't really like tight dresses you want it to be comfortable but also if you're someone who really just wants something easy breezy cute comfortable you don't have to feel like you're constantly pulling it down. This is the kind of dress you need. Um, it's got puff sleeves, which is great. So it covers the tops of your arms. If you're someone who's not really into like showing off your arms, this is a really good dress because the puff sleeves come down like probably where this t-shirt ends. So they're quite flattering and it, it just feels nice, you know, and airy under there. Um, it's got a square neckline, which I love. And then obviously goes into the kind of smock style. This, I don't know if it's still available. I'll link it below and I'll link something similar as well if I can't find this exact one. But I love this and I think it's just a really lovely, simple dress. It's more of a cotton material as well. So um, super comfortable on the skin um, and should last a good amount of time. This one is a new one from Zara. It's got this embroidery on glaze at the bottom. Brody on glaze is something that 
I mean, I've seen them in stores every single year. Some years it's not as popular as others. Um, it just kind of comes in and out, but it's always there. So it's something that you can definitely invest in and know that you can still wear year after year. It's just not always like a prime trend, if that makes sense. Um, but this one's quite simple. It's a very simple style dress. The brodie anglaise is just at the bottom. So it's not too like in your face, if you know what I mean. Um, this one is a little bit more booby. If you're not someone who likes to get your boobs out, this is not the dress for you. But I love a strappy dress when it's super, super hot so that I can sweat and it's not gonna like, you know, nothing's too close to me, if you know what I mean. But I love this. And again, this is like a cotton material. So perfect for um, summer. Next we have cute little tops. Now I love a cute top in the summer. I think it's the perfect way of just enhancing a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts or whatever you're going for. It's nice to just have like a nice top and just wear with whatever bottom that you have. Now I know for me, I'm quite simple with my clothing. So when I have my array of the same shade of jeans or like few different colors of shorts it's nice to switch up with my tops um so these are two tops that i absolutely love um white tops again are great for summer i will not stop talking about how much i love white in the summer because i just think it's perfect um i don't know if this one's still available but i'll try and find something cute and girly like this and link it below um it's just a really sweet top this kind of smock stretchy style i don't know what this is called um gathered i don't really know um kind of top is really really popular because one they're stretchy so it doesn't really matter if you gain a bit of weight over the, the year they'll still fit two it's comfortable three lightweight um and it's just a really nice style which is very classic kind of summer style um but i love this and yeah you can't really beat this kind of style top obviously if you're someone who doesn't really like tight fitting tops then that's not really a top for you but a classic cute top is perfect whether you like a color or a white top you can't really go wrong this one is obviously more colorful this is more one of those wrap style tops i love this i think it's really really sweet obviously if you're not into showing your boobs this probably isn't the top for you but i think it's really sweet and i think if you're looking to add a bit of color a really cute top is the perfect way to go this one's from shein it wasn't too expensive and the material is really really lovely um so yeah if you're not into your crop tops you could just go for like a longer blouse or maybe a shirt style blouse but yeah love this talking of shirts i have my good old trusty linen shirt you can't beat a linen shirt you can't actually beat a white shirt in the summertime i think they're just real classics and they're great for just wearing as a jacket i find that sometimes i'm a little bit chilly without something on and then i put on a shirt and i'm like perfect good to go um a linen shirt is honestly the best thing you could buy in the summertime because it's lightweight it's comfortable you can crease it and it doesn't really matter i know some people are really like iffy with creases and they're like oh never go out in a crease me on the other hand i'm like embrace the crease linen is designed to be creased so um yeah this one i love i will link one below i don't know where there'll be one in stock but i will link one below for you guys if you're interested i also did a styling video on a linen shirt which i'll link up here somewhere and i'll link it down below as well for you guys if you're interested but yeah you can't beat a linen shirt just amazing so we have the good old trusty denim shorts now you probably already own a pair of these but if you don't you should. Um, these are my new favourite pair of denim shorts. They are from Zara. They are the Bermuda Mum shorts, I think they're called. And I've rolled them down so they're like longer. And honestly, I'm obsessed. I'm done with the short shorts now. Maybe not forever, but for now. And it's nice to have a pair of shorts that just feel a little bit more covered up. Um, sometimes it's not nice to know that your bum might slip out of a pair of shorts, especially if you're wandering around town or maybe you're hanging out with friends or it's just sometimes it's nice to know that your bum's not going to slip out the bottom of the shorts. Um, and I love these and I think when it comes to denim shorts, you can't really go wrong as long as you find a style that fits you and you like. Um, I do tend to go for like more of the mum fit um, and slightly longer or ripped hem maybe. I haven't really bought that many pairs of shorts because I am really struggling to find ones that I really, really like and fit me comfortably. Um, and also because I'm not going on holiday, I don't see the need to buy multiple pairs. I'm just okay with one pair of like blue shorts. But I also have a cream pair. Let me show you those. These are from Stradivarius, but I bought them on ASOS. 
um these are just a cream pair of denim shorts which just are quite nice to switch it up if you don't want to wear black or blue um i do tend to go for light wash denim so um i do quite like the lighter style of short rather than dark shorts um so these are perfect and you can't really go wrong with a cream pair of shorts especially if you like your neutrals and like these with like a white tee showing me you may have seen these if you follow me on instagram but um yeah and they're really nice and comfortable denim as well stradivarius items fit pretty much similar to zara if you're interested so yeah i will try and link these below because i don't know if they are still available but cream shorts are just like white you can't go wrong with a piece of white a piece of white a white item or a cream item in the summertime last items i have to show you are two pairs of shoes first up you guessed it white shoes white trainers i love white trainers in the summer whether you're wearing denim shorts or jeans or a cute dress or whatever they pretty much go with everything and trainers are a little bit better to wear if you're wandering around a lot or if um you're doing a lot of walking or if you just want comfort trainers are the best way to go especially in summer because it's very easy to instantly just be like oh i'll just wear sandals i'll be fine and then you end up walking around and you're like i wish i wore trainers so trainers are a great option and i love my trainers so um yeah these are great as well because they're such a good pair of trainers and they last so long and they go with everything and you can wear them into winter which is a good thing about trainers if you're going to invest you know that you can wear them into winter if you're someone who wears trainers in winter that is i wear trainers pretty much all year round because i love them so much trainers are literally my favorite the other pair of shoes i have to show you are a pair of sandals sandals are not my favorite thing i won't lie to you um it's not that i don't like sandals it's more that i just find myself wearing trainers most of the time but these espadrille sandals are honestly well worth buying into whether you buy cheap ones or more expensive ones espadrilles are something that are quite timeless you can wear them on holiday you can wear them at home um and they're quite a holiday shoe i won't lie but I think there's something that you can wear time and time again, especially if you buy them in quite a classic style. These are more of like a tan. I do have a pair of wedges back home which are cream. Just a really kind of classic colour that you know you'll wear time and time again. If you're someone who wears a lot of black, go for a black pair, but I wear more neutrals. So obviously I have a pair of neutral sandals. Um, but yeah, and they're really comfortable as well, just easy, like they're an easy sandal to wear. You could obviously go for something a little bit more you know, like a slide on shoe if you wanted. It really just depends on what you like in the summertime. Like I said, I love trainers and I love comfort. So when something rubs on my feet, I'm like, no, I'm not wearing you. So I like to have comfort and I don't really wear sandals as much. But if you're a sandals girl, go all out, buy sandals. Because if you find pairs that you really like and they're classic and you're gonna wear year after year, they are 100% worth it. So those are all of the essentials that I have to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this. There's not loads. I'm not the biggest summer wardrobe girl. I have to admit, I'm much more of an autumn winter girl. But I hope this was of use if you're thinking about buying some items for your wardrobe, you're not really sure, or if you just wanted to hear me chat. I hope you enjoyed this. I have battled with the sun to film this video, so I really hope it came out okay um and i will leave any bloopers at the end if there are some funny ones because i was getting quite frustrated earlier um, so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i will catch you all in my next video bye oh, thank you son thank you thank you thank you thank you you stayed out for me